like, share, subscribe. HCB2 World. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, listen, it's Thanksgiving week, all right? And if you guys feel like I feel like, you know, it's about time we get to get together with family. I'm um, obviously everything going on with COVID. A lot of people have been locked down. A lot of stuff that we used to enjoy has been taken away from us. But now, all right? Now we get that sweet, sweet opportunity to spend some time with family. Now some of y'all lucky, alright? Some of y'all lucky in the sense that your family's still here. Because a lot of you guys had that row row, aka that Romney boy, aka the bid, aka that ish. A lot of y'all had it and decided, you know what? Even though my grandparents are at a high risk, I'ma still take it over there anyway. So you went and put your grandparents at risk. Some of them might have gotten out of here, some of them might still be around. If they're still around, you're lucky, all right? But that was selfish. If you had that issue, you went to visit your grandparents. That was selfish. But either way, if you're watching it, that means we made it. At least, at least for this week, anyway, you know? We made it, we're here, and we're gonna get to um, enjoy some Thanksgiving food. So generally, I always hit you guys with the first tantrum, second tantrum, the third tantrum. But we're gonna do it a little differently this time around, you know? Since it's the first Thanksgiving version of Tuesday Tantrum, I figured I'd just give you guys some advice for Thanksgiving. So, you guys are here. I'm here. I'm not wasting any more time on the intro. Let's go. Alright, so right off the bat, to all you people that are like 300, 400 pounds, I'm going to give you some advice. Alright, this is called Tough Love. Just give you some advice, but don't take it personal. But, you know, the one thing I need y'all need to know is that you don't need that second love. I said it. Don't look at me like that, I said it. You don't need that second plate. If you sit down and you can hear yourself breathe, you don't need that second plate. Fellas, if you go to the bathroom and can't see your meat, you don't need that second plate. Ladies, if you gotta suck in and put on the shirt or pull your pants up, you don't need that second plate. I get it, you know, it's been a while since you've been around family. Probably been a while since you had a decent meal. But that doesn't mean that you need to just go and stuff your face as much as possible because you don't know when you're gonna have good food again. You gotta suck it up. That's, listen, no pun intended. You are, you gotta suck it up. Yeah, I know you, listen. I know your aunt makes that good mac and cheese. I know she makes that good mac and cheese. I know that sweet potato pie is looking good right now. Extra ham, extra turkey, maybe even ribs. Yes, I, I know y'all know that. <laughs> Listen, just like they used to say back in the 90s, you gotta just say no. Alright? If you know you got those 99% clogged arteries, don't go get that last percent. Alright? If you know when you eat, you set the plate on top of your stomach instead of on top of the table, you don't need that second plate. Have some self-control. Alright? And just because I say you don't need that second plate doesn't mean, well, I'm just gonna stuff the first plate. No! Have some damn discipline! No! Okay? No! This is... Listen, remember that feeling you had when you were getting on the plane and your fat was leaning over the hand rest, all right? That's not even me trying to be rude. Just remember that feeling. Remember when you told yourself, I'm gonna lose this weight. Now's the time, all right? I understand that Thanksgiving is like the biggest temptation that you're gonna face, but you gotta have some damn discipline, all right? Just say no. Don't stuff your first plate. Damn sure don't go back for the second, all right? Put a little bit on that first plate. Get you some healthy stuff. All right, get your ass some salad, get some green beans, get some broccoli, get some of that stuff that's good for you, but you keep shying away from it. Put a little bit on that, and then, and then if you have that discipline, go and get yourself a little bit of dessert. When I say a little bit, I don't mean you get that one piece of pie, but it's actually two pieces. You just cut it so that it looks like one, but it's actually the equivalent of two. No, get yourself a very, very small piece all right, as a reward for having discipline. Have some self-control this Thanksgiving, damn it! Have some! All right. So I know some of you went to college this year, and you got that girlfriend or that boyfriend that you're proud of, you want to bring home and show to the family, all right? Listen, do not bring that person home if you know something's wrong with them. Now, I'm not saying, oh, you know, maybe they got a little speech impediment or a lazy eye. That's not what I mean when I say something's wrong with them. When I say something's wrong with them, I mean, they got no brains, all right? Slow up top. Because you know the family's gonna give them the third degree. You know how it's gonna go. They're gonna go in there, and yeah, maybe the person you're with is cute, but if they dumb as shit, the family's gonna find out. 
And there is nothing worse than bringing a dumb person home because your family will ride you for that. All right, they will ride you. Did you know families like to give give whoever you bring home the second degree? Hey, how y'all know each other? Oh, what are you majoring in college? You know, some of these, some of these people they might be good looking, but not that bright. They're gonna go and they're gonna start being truthfully honest. You know, they're gonna start being brutally honest. Oh, I really go to class. I oh, know. Oh, what do you do for work? Oh, you know, I sell weed. No, no, use your brains, okay? Because if you take these people home, one, they're gonna get destroyed by your family, and two, your family's gonna look at you like you might have been this the biggest disappointment that this family has ever had across like two generations. But you gotta be selective with this. Now, on the subject of bringing people home, some of you gonna bring that side piece home, all right? Some of you people have already brought your quote unquote name home. So your family knows who your boyfriend is. Your family knows who your girlfriend. But you decide that since that person is going to be with their family this Thanksgiving, you're going to bring second best, the backup. You know what I mean? Side piece. Fellas, do not bring that side piece home. All right? Because as soon as you walk in the door, your family's going to start murmuring. And then your aunt is going to hit you with that disappointed aunt look. And if you don't know what the disappointed aunt look is, it's like this. You know that look the aunties give you, staring into your soul, knowing damn on well you messed up. And then that girl's gonna be hella uncomfortable. And then nine times out of ten, if you're black and you're bringing her home, especially if it's a white chick, she's not gonna know how to play space. You bring her home, so not only is she not aware that she's a side piece, your family knows she's a side piece. But then she come, you don't know how to play space. Y'all gonna get that girl killed. Have some discipline, fellas. Fellas, don't do it, all right? Don't do it. First of all, you shouldn't be playing your girl anyway. Let's start there. But secondly, if your girl's gone, just go to Thanksgiving by yourself. Do not bring the side piece home. Not gonna go well. When you go to the bathroom, when she goes to the bathroom, your aunt's gonna start to whisper. I can't believe he bought a whole to Thanksgiving. She ought to be ashamed of himself. He should too, just like his damn dad. <laughs> Listen, don't do it to yourself. And don't do it to that girl. Now, ladies, you ain't off the hook either. Some of y'all got a good dude. Some of y'all with a good dude. And you know, he decides to go be with his family for Thanksgiving. So you upset, so you gonna bring the side piece dude home. So not only, the side piece dude is probably a good dude too. You were supposed to bring a dish, all right? You were supposed to bring a dish home for Thanksgiving. But instead, all you're bringing is this poor bastard and muff cabbage. Nobody wants either one. Don't take that poor bastard home. Because one, nine times out of ten, the side dude is going to go. He's going to actually fit in well with the family. This dude is going to be thinking, oh yeah, we're moving to the next level of our relationship. I done went home and met her family. I like her aunties. Ooh, her uncles are real cool. I had a good time. We played spades. They made good food. It was good. I felt like I really got in the family. But then months later, he going to find out not only was he the side piece, but the whole family knew he was the side piece. How do you think that man is going to feel? Huh? How do you think he's gonna feel when he's in there trying to make a good impression? And for what? Because you already have a dude. You don't waste that man's time. Don't do that to that guy, right? It's not right. And ladies, you know, when I said that you're supposed to bring a dish, don't bring the side piece dude in the dish because it's gonna be double disappointment. One, the side piece dude is probably gonna perform well and he's gonna be pissed off later on. But then, not only that, nobody's gonna touch his dish. Because girls who play dudes like that always bring the worst <laughs> dishes to Thanksgiving uh, get-togethers or any family get-togethers, all right? I don't know who needs to hear this, but pouring green beans and uh, cream of mushroom into a pan and cooking it, that's not a real meal. Nobody wants that shit, all right? So not only will you go home with disappointment, but you're gonna go home with a full dish that nobody touched. Can you imagine your family looking at you, knowing you brought a dude here? They're gonna say, oh, she ain't shit. She ain't shit. Your uncle's gonna dap them up because your uncles are usually cool. But your aunt is going to look at you like, can't believe we got a hole in the family. All right, nobody wants that. Because then you're going to reflect on it when you're washing that dish out late at night. When you're throwing all those green beans and uh, cream of mushroom that you wasted your money on, throwing that shit in the trash and washing that pan, you're going to remember the looks your family gave you. And it's there, you know, you're not going to admit it, but somewhere, somewhere in the back of your mind, all right, somewhere right there, you're gonna hear that little, little voice that tells you, damn, I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> you know it. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. All right, last but certainly not least, I don't know, still look at me like that. I don't always like to be negative, all right? But certainly, but not least, have fun, you know? Enjoy being with your family. Obviously, everything going on with COVID 
had a, quite the year where you just really can't go see anybody, at least without the fear of one, getting sick, or two, taking that Roni boy over to their house and killing them. So enjoy your time with your family. All right, when you go, have fun, play some games, laugh, tell a story or two, all right? Get to know some of the, the nieces and nephews or cousins that you, you don't know because you haven't been to the get-togethers in like two years, all right? But go, intermingle, have fun, catch them up on your life, catch up on their lives, and just enjoy the time. But honestly, man, baby, the way everything's going, you don't know how much longer we get to do stuff like this, all right? A lot of you guys are supposed to wear masks, you ain't been doing it, so you might not be here in 2021, but you're here now to enjoy the holiday, all right? If you've been coughing or you know you got the edge, don't go over there. Do not take that to your family. Like, have some damn decency. Don't take it to your family because one, it's going to be pretty messed up for you to take that Romy boy over there. And two, you don't want to have to deal with that when you die. God is going to be like, so you had that corona and you took it over there to your family and you passed it forward. And he's going to ask you why you did that shit. And he's I don't know, don't work. God ain't trying to hear, I don't know. God wants some damn answers. So just avoid having to give him one by not going over there if you know you got that issue. All right? You're welcome. Other than that, that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If so, you know what to do. Smash the like button. We've been here before. Why don't I keep telling y'all the same stuff over and over again? All right? If you're new to the channel, you haven't checked out one of these, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribing is free. It'll make me feel better. It'll make you feel better. And boom, you know, we'll be there. As always, I'm your boy, Heels Come Back 2. Do great, be great, have a great Thanksgiving. I'll catch you guys in the next video, alright? Peace!